The much-awaited decision about the lockdown regulations and restrictions have been taken by the Tamil Nadu government. In fact, yesterday, the chief minister had a discussion with the district collectors through video conferencing. This is the secretariat and within this place only, the chief minister had the discussion with the various district collectors. And today, as we speak, he also had led a meeting uh, like, you know, with the medical team committee whereby decisions have been made. Well, the important aspect was that the people who are looking for some kind of relaxation when it came to public transport and also about the usage of e-pass. Unfortunately, it seems that the Tamil Nadu government is going to continue the same status quo as of July in August as well. So even in August, all sort of restrictions are going to continue, which means there will be no public transportation as it was not mentioned in the uh, statement that, has really, that was released by the chief minister. Not just that, e-pass is mandatory. If you need to enter Tamil Nadu, you will have to carry an e-pass. And if you want to even travel within districts, e-pass is required. E-pass is only given for four reasons. A wedding emergency, a funeral emergency, a medical emergency, or if you are a stranded person. Person. Otherwise, you will not be provided an e-pass. So that's a little bit of like worrisome issue. However, when it comes to Chennai, relaxations definitely have been increased. In fact, in private sector, the workforce earlier was 50%, which has now been increased to 75%. Government is allowing 75% workforce in Chennai, but not in containment zones. And yes, the vegetable and grocery stores, which were allowed to work until 6 p.m. earlier, can function until 7 p.m. And the same is like, you know, uh, the uh, detail also goes for standalone shops. They can also operate from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Restaurants and tea stalls, as of now, were only providing parcel service, but starting from August 1st, they can also allow 50% of dine-in. And yes, the parcel service can continue until 9 p.m., but dine-in should be closed by 7 p.m. So these restrictions are in place, and this all, like, you know, the relaxations come in effect from August 1st. However, the state is still, like, you know, has very clearly mentioned that they're, like, you know, there is, uh, like, restrictions still continue, and it seems since no information has been provided in the statement released by the chief minister about public transport, about like uh, e-pass re like relaxations, that was something that people were looking for for a very long period. But unfortunately, it seems that it is going to continue even August as well. And just like in July, another important aspect is that Sundays are a total lockdown in Tamil Nadu. All the four Sundays which come in July will be a total lockdown. All these restrictions have been kept in place, considering that even now, every day, a minimum of 6,400 people are turning positive in Tamil Nadu, even though Chennai seems to be in a kind of a pause phase where the average has reduced from 2,000 per day to 1,100 average. In other districts, it is still increasing. The numbers of uh, like increasing and that is a bit worrisome. And that's why such decision has been made by the chief minister. With camera person Vijay Shekhar, Pramod Madhav, for Mirana.